everyone. Welcome to Maths IEC. This is GCSE Maths Exams Print Series. This is a popular GCSE exam style question. I have seen many variations of this with different numbers, different letters, but the same concept. So, as usual, please pause the video and give this question a try. And press play when you want to check the answer. Now, let's check the answer. Make x the subject of this formula. Now, this question is a little tricky compared to your normal questions because we have x in two places. So, we have x here and here. Now, in my final answer, I only need to see x in one place. So, there should be only one x. Let's see what we can do. Step one, we are going to bring this to the other side and let's multiply it. So, y open bracket, 3 take away x is equal to 5x and 4. Now let's see where my x's are. There's one x here, there's one x here. Now obviously I have to multiply out the brackets, so let's do that. 3 times y, 3 capital Y, take away y times x, lowercase x capital Y, is equal to on the right hand side is just 5x add 4. Now in these type of questions, you need to sort of track where your x is. Now let's see, you got an x here and you got the other x here. Now I need to bring both x's to the same side. Now I can bring 5x to this side or I can bring this negative xy to the other side. I'm actually going to do that. The reason is, when I do that, I get both positive, which makes my life easier. I mean, can I not do the other way? You can. It's just easier this way. Now, this 4, I need to bring to this side here. So, 3 capital Y remains here. This add 4 becomes take away 4 is equal to 5x and xy. Now we have both x's on the same side. Now this is the important step here. The left hand side is 3y take away 4 is equal to. Now I have the same x on both terms. I can factorize the x out. So I have 5 add y. Now you can see what happens. I have only one x. So all this time, until this step, I had two x's. Now I've got only one x. Now it's very easy. I just divide both sides by 5 add capital Y. This side also, 5 add Y. And you can clearly see these two gets cancelled out. So I can write x is equal to 3y take away 4 divided by 5 and y. Now, we got the answer to this question, but let me show you something. Now, at this stage here, I told you it doesn't matter whether you take 5x to this side or minus xy to the other side, but we did the step that we did because it makes it easier it avoids these negatives. But somebody decided to do it this way because I know some students, they like to get the subject on the left-hand side. They like to get the letter that they want on the left. So some students might do it this way. So let's go back and see if we can do it that way and whether we get the same answer. Now let's go down that path and do this. So let's move the 3y to the other side and move the 5x to this side. So what do we have here? Negative xy take away 5x is equal to 4 take away 3 capital Y. Now let's track my x's. I bought both x's on the same side but with some negative sign here. Now let's do the same thing like before. Take x out as a factor. Now I only take x out so negative y remains, negative 5 here remains, is equal to 4 take away 3y, divide both sides by that. So I have 
x is equal to 4 take away 3y divided by negative y take away 5. So this is the answer I get now. And we got a slightly different answer earlier. But let me show you something. Now, let's have a look at these two side by side. This is what we did as method 1. This is method 2. Now, here we got 3y take away 4 over 5 add y. Here we got 4 take away 3y over negative y take away 5. Now, let's see if they are the same. You know, when you have a fraction, if you multiply both top and bottom by the same number, it is still the same fraction. For example, if you have two thirds, if I multiply this one by two and this one by two, I get four sixths. Same thing. So we just established that it is okay to multiply a fraction by any number as long as you multiply the numerator and the denominator. Now, I'm going to multiply this one here by negative 1 and this one also by negative 1. Now let's see what we get. x is equal to negative 1 times 4 is negative 4. Negative 1 times negative 3y obviously negative and negative is positive that gives me 3 y. Then let's do the same thing here. Negative 1 times negative y is y negative 1 times negative 5 is just plus 5. Now, x is equal to, now I'm just going to change the order of these two. It really doesn't matter, it's just the same thing. 3y take away 4. Now, why is that? Now look, if you had negative 2 and 1, it's exactly the same as 1 take away 2. It's the same thing. Like that, I just switch these two. I'm going to switch these two as well just because it appears like that in the first one you get 5 at y. Now if you look at this one you can clearly see x is equal to 3y take away 4 divided by 5 at y is what we got in our method 1. So they both are exactly the same answer. You'll get marks for both versions in the exam but I prefer method 1 because it avoids this use of negatives and makes their life a little bit easier.